By the time the announcement was made this morning, Bishop Michael Bransfield's bio had already been scrubbed from the website and replaced with a link back to Baltimore and Archbishop William Lorry. And that's because in addition to his day job here, Lorry is now the substitute leader of the Wheeling Charleston, West Virginia Diocese, while also investigating sexual abuse allegations against Bishop Bransfield. A lot of moving parts, all courtesy of Pope Francis today. According to the Vatican, accepted Bransfield's resignation and then tapped Lori to take over. Personally, I think it's horrible. I think it's uh, 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 just deplorable. Reaction from local Catholics, those who've had enough and don't go to church anymore, and those who are hanging in there. I pray there's no, but nothing's perfect. So are you saying yeah. for you, your faith is bigger than the scandals and the problems in the church? Yes, yes. It's just a good time to pray for the church. A lot going on, a lot to pray for. Tonight in West Virginia, church leaders are asking for prayers. One of the most important things we can do right now is hold each other up in prayer. Um, you know, especially pray for our priest. In a statement, Archbishop Lori said people are his primary concern right now. And by mid morning, he was already out of state and at his second job, pledging to conduct a thorough investigation in search of the truth into the troubling allegations against Bishop Bransfield and to work with the diocese until the appointment of a new bishop. Details on the allegations have not been released. Also, no word yet on a timeline for the investigation or appointment of a new bishop in West Virginia. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.